Welcome, welcome. Happy Saturday, Texas. You are watching The Connect Show, and we are so excited to just be with you this morning. Each week, we are diving into different business topics and learning from boss babes that are leveling up, yeah. right? <laughs> We get into business. So good morning to my co-hosts, Kenny Morales and Michelle Hammonds. What's up, ladies? Good morning. Good morning. So excited to be here. It's going to be such an incredible show. Yes, I'm excited. Lots of lots of women. So what are we kicking things off with today, Michelle? Yes. So ladies, I know summer is just around the corner. How do y'all feel about traveling? Um, mm. Do you feel like you're going to stay more local? Do you feel like you're going to fly or do a road trip? Have you thought about it? What are your, what are your thoughts? Uh, I, I'm ready to get out. I am ready to start flying and road trips both. I'm excited. We've already actually done one for spring break and um, there was a little, you know, bit of things, you know, little uh, loops, you know, and things we had to take care of and before, but other than that, I mean, it was easy peasy, went, had the best time, came back. And so I'm like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Summer yeah. is on. Yeah. Me too, Wendy. I can't wait to get out and about. I've been really home for at least 365 days, just being with the family, having, you know, you know, to face all of the challenges that we've all been, been facing over this COVID, but I am excited. I'm fully vaccinated. I am ready to run down the streets crazy, like the crazy lady. And they're just going to say, wow, there's the, that lady. Yeah, that's right. It's me. I'm ready to get out. I'm ready to see my people, my family. My family is finally coming to visit me and my parents are going to fly on a plane. And so it's just so funny to even consider that being a, a challenge today. But we, we know a lot of people are not um, flying. And with three small children right now, we are not going to take them and put them on a plane today. But we do plan to go to SeaWorld, um, you know, hang out in San Antonio and do some fun things with the kids by car. I think we'll be mixing it up and doing a little bit of both, too. That sounds like so much fun. Yeah. I feel the same way with three or four kids. Ooh. I feel the same way right now. We're not taking them on planes, but I'm actually going to Oregon. I'm flying wow. on Thursday. Ooh. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm so excited. I know um, I've actually flown as well, but I'm just excited to see just how it's going to be at the airport and yeah. um, just be fully prepared for whatever's to come because I'm ready to go explore again and enjoy wow. friends and feel safe. And I'm just really thankful and um, excited to start, start again. Let's talk about our vision boards. Are you guys still working with and through vision boards? And are you you know, looking at something new for this second quarter as we get into 2021. I'm slowly working on mine. Yeah, it, it takes me a little bit longer. Um, the, the vision board is, you know, I am older, so I'm kind of old school. So this whole new vision board thing is is really new to me, but I really love it. So it takes me a little while to um, get that going, but I am working on mine and, you know, have some really uh, fantastic goals for 2021. And I'm working on them with my other daughter, Jerrica. So that's been a lot of fun. Um, and, and we're getting to it, definitely. You know, the clock is ticking and it's never too late to get out there and dream. So I'm excited for what we have for uh, everyone today with the show as well. Don't go anywhere, get cozy with your favorite morning drink. For me, that's a mimosa sometimes. And <laughs> come right back for a jam packed show. It's gonna be amazing. Hey everyone, my name is Belinda. I'm a busy mom from a small town in West Texas. I wear many hats throughout my day, from mom, wife, CFO, and having my own YouTube channel. Pretty much anything thrown my way, I'll give it a try. I share a ton of different tips over on my YouTube, from cooking, cleaning, and organizing your home, to all things mom. I would love to share all this with you. Find me over on all of my socials for the latest and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel under Belinda and Co. Well, welcome back to the Connect Show with Texas. So our first guest, she is a mom, a CEO and podcaster creating experiences and promoting female 
fierceness. And I love that. Doesn't that just have a great ring, female fierceness? So please <laughs> help me welcome Amira Sain, CEO and founder of BAS Media. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having me. And yes, we must celebrate all the female fierceness. There's no other way to be. I would love to hear more about your why. You know, okay. why did you get started? What was um, the fuel that kind of lit the fire in you to change the world the way you are? Well, first of all, thank you. And I, I receive your world, worldwide conqueration, if that's even a word, right? I, I receive <laughs> that. Uh, no, you know what? I really truly believe that I've always had a spirit of connection. I think that's an innate part of my DNA and who I am. I've always been involved from as far back as elementary school, being involved in student organizations and things of that nature. And I've always really had a fondness for women. I have two sisters. I come from a big family and mm -hmm. I really enjoy the female connection. So at a, at a certain point in my life, uh, I found myself not working for the man anymore. I was unemployed, laid off when I was six months pregnant with my daughter. And I decided to stay at home and take advantage of that time and figure out what my next plan would be. And during that time, I realized that I wasn't the only person in this big life change and this needing help kind of guiding through the pivot. And I decided to create a pop-up brunch. I brought out a restaurant and I said, you know what? I'm going to do this. My background was in sales and marketing. I felt at least I could sell out a, a venue. If I couldn't do anything else with some Facebook ads, surely I could do that. And, and if I didn't, so what? I'd call my girlfriends and we just have the best boozy brunch we've ever had, you know? Yeah. So what? And we actually did. We sold out the events and sponsors began to step up from that first event. And when they stepped up, there, I was shocked because these were heavy hitters like Soul Cycle, you know, and this is my little first event. And after I did a couple of events and those brands and more kept reaching out, I realized that I was missing an opportunity to perhaps mm -hmm. monetize what I was doing. And I had to really take a step back and make sure that when I monetized it, it was organic and authentic to the brand and that it made sense, made sense for us as we de determined and decided to grow. So uh, you usually hear about how can I benefit or how can I get ahead? But instead you wanted to lead with how you can help other people um, build their brand. Is that the line thinking that brought you like to your motto, Amira? Um, we build, we win, right? Yeah, I mean, go, kind of piggybacking to having sisters, right? And we were raised to not compete. Uh, with one another. When my sister wins, I win. And that truly is in my DNA yeah. as well. So I, unfortunately, I've been, in, you know, I'm a sorority girl through college, all those things. And I've had so many instances where I have seen people make the, the different choice, a choice that shouldn't be made. And that's to not support your fellow sister. And uh, for me, I believe truly when we build, we win. If I help you build, how can you not remember to help me build? How That's can right. we not win when we are watching one another work for our goals? And our goals oftentimes do not overlap. You know, it's about relationship building. And I wanted to really kind of see people or, or get around women and let them see what it looks like to have some form of success and to still help people along the way and see what a charmed and fabulous life that can be. So important, Amira. Very important and um, such, you know, great information that you've shared with us this morning and we're so happy again that you joined us and please let everyone know how they can find Amira. Oh, of course. We, we're a little bit of everywhere. You can follow us if you want to know about the fabulousness that is cocktails and brunch. It's at Brunch and Slay on all social media platforms. We keep it super simple from Twitter to Instagram. It's just at Brunch and Slay. And if you want to follow me personally, you can follow me at Amira Sane. My last name is S-A-I-N-E. And I'm happy to engage with you. If you want to follow us from a digital marketing perspective, you can follow us at BASmedia.net. And feel free to work with, uh, reach out, and we're happy to help you from small business to Fortune 500 Corporation. All right. Well, thank you again for coming on. And we are just getting started, everyone. Don't go anywhere. We have a yogi and a community leader, Veronica Torres, Carly, joining us next. But first, we are crushing it with Christy. Christy, you guys get ready. She is sharing how to crush your goals with confidence build a genuine connection while increasing your cash flow. What do you have for us, Christy? Welcome to Crush It With Christy. I'm Christy Primer, president of Primetime Consulting Services. 
everything my company represents is empowering and educating and entertaining women to step up and into their best version of themselves. Today, I want to share a quick tip with you uh, all about getting you to think bigger and then bigger than that. One of the things I see women doing is diminishing their own self-worth, putting everybody else before themselves. That is a surefire way to kick confidence to the curb. I want you to stop doing that. I want you to pause and ask yourself, what would I want? That is how you build your confidence muscle so you can step up and into who you want to be doing all of the things you want to do. To connect further with me and to learn more about how I can help you live your best life, connect with me at primetimecs.com or on Instagram. See you then. to the connect show texas so this segment we are joined by a woman who is on a mission while she's also advocating for self-care so please help me welcome veronica torres hazley of the hey chica movement hola chica hey chicas how are you <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited to be here with you all. And it's just amazing to see my good friend, Wendy, and you guys, Natalie, too, that on the show. You guys are doing amazing work. So it's such an honor to be here with you all today. Let's talk about this Hey Chica Ooh. movement because I've heard of the extraordinary events that you've brought to Dallas, across Texas, and lots of places. Talk a little bit about how you knew there was a need for Latina women to, you know, have a better space to be represented. And what what was it um, going on in your community that you said, you know what, we're, we don't have enough for people that look like me? Right. That's a great question I get asked all the time. So I'll share a little how it started with even just my yoga studio, when I started practicing yoga in Dallas, nobody looked like me. It was really almost an all white presence in yoga in Dallas when I started. And I knew then like I was practicing the great work it was doing for me. And I thought, oh my God, I want to teach this. And then I was like, oh my God, I want to own my own space so I can put the music that I want. I can invite the people that that are come from all over. And same thing with Hey Chica. I, I used to travel a lot. I did a lot of leadership programs in Dallas. I was a part of them. I was planning them. I got to travel the world to leadership conferences. And I just noticed that no one looked like me. And I had a great time at all these places. It was fun. It was a Super Bowl parties. It was all the parties that you can think about in industry. And I really felt it was sad that I couldn't enjoy this with my friends. And my friends couldn't come unless I had an extra ticket or whatever. But mm. I thought, I want to recreate something like this that my friends and my girlfriends and my community can come to and feel poured into can get lavished foods and drinks and experiences and you know i thought i'm in a place to create it why not do it and, wow. and create something for us by us right so and i had it looked all over the country and i found one girl in california that was doing something similar and i invited her to dallas and i told her i'd help support her do it and she's like we're not moving and traveling so that was kind of the birth of the Hey Chica movement. I thought I'm going to create my own leadership summit and see how it goes and had five beautiful women come on board with me. And, you know, it wow. started like that, just real organic with just our friends and network. We had yeah. 32 speakers. It was incredible. <laughs> Veronica, you are so amazing and you're a true inspiration and you are so she's just such a huge uh, mentor for so many. And I know she doesn't realize it, but really everyone you speak to will say she was my mentor. Veronica has definitely been my mentor, including myself. Um, so happy to have you with this more with us this morning. Ha sido un gran placer. Para oh. <laughs> Please let everyone, let our audience know how they can help you with the Hey Chica movement and where they can find you. Right. So we're excited that we're transitioning Hey Chica into finally our nonprofit side. So eventually they can find us on HeyChica.org. But for now, Hey Chica Summit was our original website where all of our events were posted on and they are there. You can look there, but we're also coming to a city near you. We're doing Houston, Austin. We're going to be in Colorado this next year. So we're going to be producing these events for Latinas to engage in their city. 
and to learn how to be supportive and, and grow that pipeline. So we're getting behind issues that um, Latinas are facing and you can find all of that at Hey Chica Movement on every platform, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of it is there. We have a book club. There's so many resources for you to get tapped into, but Hey Chica Movement, if you just Google that, you can get connected there too. Veronica, thank you so much. That was so good. We're going to take a quick break and be right back. Good morning. This week's tech tip is going to be all about passwords. And by passwords, so let's talk about that. How many of you on a daily basis have to remember, I don't know, 15, 20 passwords? I swear, I feel like I have to remember over 100 every single day. Well, one of the solutions that we offer is called LastPass, and it's an awesome solution. The reason that I say that is it provides two-factor authentication. You can put in all the policies and security settings that you want. And the other thing is you can use it both on your PC, your MacBook, or your mobile device. And it actually stores all your passwords in one place. So if you're the kind of person that has all your passwords in your notes, which by the way is not that secure, so let's not do that going forward, LastPass is gonna be the answer for you. Well, welcome back to The Connect Show, Texas. Our next guest worked for a nonprofit that was on the brink of shutting down uh, a department or a space that was really important to her. And, you know, when most of us lose a job or something happens, we just think, well, I got to go find a new job, right? But not this boss babe. She had her own aha moment and decided to start something new. Let's welcome Larissa to the show. Hey, girlfriend. Hey girl. Hi, Hello. So can you please tell us what Recurso Hispano is all about? Absolutely. So the literal translation is Hispanic resources. And mm. when one profit I was working for decided they weren't going to be serving the Spanish speaking market, the Hispanic community, I said, hold up. That's my passion. So I decided to branch out and really focus on that community. I didn't want them to be left out. I cannot wait to find more out about this. So can you give us a little bit more detail about your business bootcamp? Absolutely. So we serve entrepreneurs wherever it is that they are, whether they're just starting up and they have ideas and dreams, whether they've been in business a couple of years and they're kind of getting the hang of things, or they're completely seasoned entrepreneurs and they're trying to just build and scale. So the business bootcamp is for the starters. It's the idea, idea and dreamers. And what we do is answer all the questions to those, you know, crazy internet searches that you stay on for hours, like acronyms, too much, right? DBA, LLC, EIN, like we break it down for you one step at a time. We walk you through the entire process so that once you are ready, you're confidently making those decisions. And I love it so much because as a business owner, it, it can be overwhelming getting started, getting going, finding the right resources, not wasting your time. And you are giving people the tools that they need to stay on track. Um, do you only focus on new businesses or what if I'm someone that's kind of got it together? I've got, you know, I got one foot in the game and the other foot's over here trying to, you know, check the temperature, make sure everything's okay. What, what can you do with people that are, you know, a little further down the road? How can you help us? Right. So a lot of times once we get going, I mean, we're wearing 10,000 hats. So one of the areas that we specialize in is accounting. And we love to come in and just give you some affirmation that you're on the right track, that you're doing all the right things, that you're not missing any steps. So we have what's called a health check. And we'll come in and look at your books and just make sure that you have everything checked off that you're supposed to. And if you don't, we'll identify those things for you and we can either implement them for you or just um, work with you in the process of kind of training you to get all that done and up to date. 
And then if you're growing so much that you just cannot wear that accounting hat anymore, we love to be your strategic partner and be your back office accounting firm. So we love yeah. to help businesses through the things that they don't particularly specialize in so that they can focus on their genius zone. Mm. Love it. I love that you really take the the kind of scary words or the different yeah. things that kind of hold us back because we just maybe yeah. don't know the right step. And you are that puzzle piece that people really need and that resource that gets them going again faster, further, farther, exactly right on track. And it's just so incredible. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Can you please tell people how they can connect with you and really align with what you're doing? Absolutely. So you can visit us at recursohispano.com. You can follow us on any of the social media platforms at Recurso Hispano as well. And we'd love to work with you, help you uh, elevate and really just give you that um, that you need to take the next step for your business. Well, don't go anywhere. Up next, we are talking real estate with Natasha Carroll. But first, we are at the table with Tommy Vincent. What do you have for us this week, Tommy? You are at the table with Tommy Vincent, where there is always a seat reserved with your name on it. The affirmation for this week is, I will forgive me. This one is very challenging because oftentimes when we think about forgiveness, we think about the need to forgive someone else. And we don't even recognize the areas of our life that are being held up because we're not forgiving ourselves. Well, life has a way of resetting itself and everything always works together for our good. So choosing to forgive yourself is a necessary step to continue to open up the doors to your heart's desire. Now I'm having some very intimate live conversations on Instagram, on the Stay A While Show page, and that's at Stay A While Show. Every Monday night at 7.30, we're having conversations that dig into these areas. I invite you to join me at the table. And please, if you have not listened to season one of Stay A While podcast, please do so on Apple Podcasts or anywhere that you listen to your podcast. Now remember, life happens at the table. So meet me there. I look forward to speaking with you next week for some more virtual soul food. Welcome back to The Connect Show. So our next guest is all about real estate. She's an agent and a broker. Please help me welcome Natasha Carroll to the show. Hi, Hi Natasha. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for having me today. Yes. Hi, Natasha. We are so honored to have you. We're so excited to talk about real estate. So let's dive in. I know that your real estate career started with you initially buying real estate as an investor. Can you please tell us a little bit more about your start? Yeah. Um, so what happened was I was working full time in corporate America and I thought to myself um, in the beginning um, before I left and moved from New Orleans to Houston that I would never own a home. And while working in corporate America, I thought to myself, I'm going to try to purchase my first property. Right. Uh, and I purchased my first property with someone else guiding me, helping me along the journey. And I trusted them and put all of my, um, I would say, eggs, thoughts, ideas and guidance in the basket with them. And so I purchased my first two properties as investments. And that's kind of like how the journey started. And then I learned a lot as I went along the process. You're talking about how there's more realtors than there are investment properties. Um, have you seen this at all or has this affected you in any way? Yeah, I would say the market has become, in some people's eyes, saturated, right, with realtors. Um, but I guess you have to know your unique um, quality that you offer to the environment. And for me, it's about, one, I'm an investor. I'm not just a realtor. And I didn't get into the business to sell houses. I got in the business to build connections 
and help people invest in real estate as well as buy and sell. So there's a lot of people out there, but it's about the genuine connection with someone and really wanting to help. Because if you're chasing a dollar or just trying to make money, these are people's lives and they're all hard yeah. on cash. So you want to, them to help make the best decision on the purchase that they're going to live. Because at the end of the day, they live the mortgage and not the house. That is such a good one. And this has been so fun, just hearing it from an investor first, right, perspective. Um, there's a lot that you need to know, and getting your real estate license can only, you know, help you grow. So I'm super excited for you. So if, if people want to get into the industry or even begin investing in property, what tips do you have? Yeah, I would say if you want to become an investor, one, you have to know in your heart, this is what you want to do. It's not for the faint of heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and not every deal is perfect, right? You have to think about if you're going to be an investor, you have to think about your budget, first of all, because mm -hmm. if something was to happen with the property, can you afford to put a roof on that house? Can you mm -hmm. afford to put a hot water heater on it? Do you want to manage it yourself? You need to think about that, right? Because do people will call you late at night when there's something wrong with the hot water heater, the AC is not working. Do you want to manage it or do you want to actually um, put it under property management? The other thing I would think about is know your budget on what you want to invest in. Some people focus on apartments. Some people focus on single family homes. Some people focus on duplexes. And I think you just have to think about where you want to specialize and you can always eventually grow from there. Yes, it's been so wonderful having you with us today, Natasha. Not only are you beautiful, you are intelligent and so full of knowledge in the real estate and investment world. Um, how can people find you? Yes, Wendy, one way you can find me is on social media, of course. I'm on uh, Instagram and Facebook at Natasha Carol Realty. But for me, I like that personal touch. I've had people just reach out to me through DM. Uh, all of my contact information is out there under Natasha Carol Realty. Or you can just pick up the phone and give me a call. I'm always here to help. I love it, love it, love it. Well, thank you, Natasha, for being with us. We are going to take a quick break and be right back. another amazing show this Saturday. And let me tell you, there were some pretty amazing guests, right? So many different women taking action and finding ways to bring their business to the next level. If you are enjoying this girl boss magic, which I know you are because it's so fun and inspirational, you can catch all of our past episodes on YouTube and binge watch them Netflix style at Natalie's Network. You don't want to miss out. Such an incredible show today. And also don't forget to join our membership. Register today at connectonline.com. Bye.